telling the city to step in and put up a wall surrounding a schoolyard that is causing them issues. News 12 Brooklyn's Emily Lorsch explains. Screaming, trash, flying balls, those are just a few of the reasons Bay Ridge residents who live next door to PSIS 30 are upset. <laughs> the sound travels. This is like a canyon. I was on the phone with my mother's doctor right up in that room over there. My mother's doctor said to me, are you in the schoolyard or something? These neighbors tell us they've called the police, elected officials, and even had several meetings with the principal, but still, the noise coming from the schoolyard is too loud. The dean herself that uses the bullhorn has been in our block collecting balls, and neighbors have spoken to her, and she's heard our concerns herself, and still the bullhorn use persists. Now all that separates these neighbors' homes from the schoolyard is a short fence and a privacy screen. If you're telling me the best you can do is a privacy screen without any kind of solid wall or any kind of noise barrier, I don't believe that. And they say it's more than just the noise. They're climbing onto people's property and they are going to get hurt. It's just a matter of time. The balls go in the backyards, the garbage comes in. So at what point is the school responsible? They're calling on the city to step in and put up a wall. And at the very least, raise the fence. In Bay Ridge, Emily Lorsch, News 12 Brooklyn. We reached out to the Department of Education and they tell us our schools are important parts of communities and must maintain respectful relationships with their neighbors. School staff are on site to monitor students during recess and we are looking into this further.